In this tutorial, we are talking about the landing page of Guide. Since version 11.0 start page has been added with useful links when no project is open. And the video shows how user specific settings can be selected related to the guide tool during opening and closing projects. So this is the new start page which has been implemented since guide 11.0 and how it looks like after starting guide with no project open. Via settings, the user is able to modify the look and feel, how guide should look like after start and how projects should be handled after starting guide and close comment. All related settings are located under options project open close. The first setting on the top is used to enable or disable the start page if no project is open. If this option is true, the start page will be shown. If it is false, the landing page area is empty and gray. The next area in this settings is, um, is to use the previous project when starting guide. So always the previous project will always be opened when guide is started. If not packed, the previous project will be opened when guide is started, but only if it is in P1X format, so a plus one guide project file. If not manually closed, the previous project will be open when guide is started, but not if it was previously closed using the close project menu option. And never, the previous project will never be open automatically when guide is started. The next setting can be used to display a file open dialog after guide has started, so the user is able to select any project to open. A previous project will be pre-selected in the file open dialog if the open previous project settings are active. In the lower part of this window, you can change settings concerning project close behavior. You can select close and ask me if I want to pack the project. So a dialog will be, di will be displayed when a project is close, giving the option of either packing it to a P1P file or not. Close the project and delete temporary files in the project folder. So temporary projects, uh, project files will be deleted. This also gives the option of deleting additional files or just close it, which is the default setting. It is recommended to select one of the last two options when working with version control systems like SVN or Git. The last setting is related to the number of recent projects which will be retained. They can be selected via file open uh, recent or on the start page if shown. As I said, the start page is shown when no project is open and split in multiple sections. Only the selector can be viewed. Additionally, the compiler messages, inspector and manager window are hidden. On the left side, you will find fast links to create new or open project. So the same process which is available under file. Also fast links to open recent projects where all retained recent projects are displayed and the number of the recent projects are configurable which was shown before under options. Below the listed recent projects the, um, the bookmarked projects are shown. You can bookmark a project under file and select bookmark project. This project will then be listed and can be removed via right, right click and select remove from list. In the next section to the right, some useful links to open interesting sections from the tutorials. Click on the link and the instruction of this part is opened in a separated window. On the right part of um, the start page, you can find helpful and hopefully already known links to the update center and the plus one forum. Click on the link open update center to open the update center where you can check for updates and manage the update subscription. Click on the link Wizard Forum to start the forum and to start and or follow discussions on the plus one uh, tools. At the bottom of this section, you will find needful contact links to the help desk support. Without open a project, you can only show the inspector where the user do have access 
to any file and document inside the four tabs component, function, hardware and my code. We hope that you found this tutorial useful. Remember that Plus One Community Help is available on the Plus One User Forum or contact the Plus One Help Desk. Thank you for your attention.